Peace. Welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we're reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2024. This will be a three card general love reading. So take the message that resonate, leave the rest behind. As always, if you guys would like to see this personally, there's my cat. As soon as I want to do a reading. <laughs> if you guys would like to see what's personally going on in your love life or just surrounding career finances whatever the case may be check out my website for my various readings and also check out my products on my website as well you guys please like 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 the channel please subscribe to the channel so my videos can get out there into the algorithm and yeah let's get straight into it um doing something different this month you guys are going to get your own individual reading i'm not going to lump it into the elements so, yeah, hopefully, you guys, these messages resonate with you. And let's get into it, Taurus. Universal Spirit, Angel, Santa, God, the Master, Gods, and Goddesses, Angels. Yes, yeah, so let's give me messages from my Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2024. Wisdom, energy surrounding my Taurus. Love life. Collective. I ask you messages I love like clarity for my Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2024. Surrounding love life. Give me one more card for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Surrounding love life for the month of September. All right. Thank you, Spirit. The overall energy is beloved wisdom. I just got like, when I was channeling your energy, I just got like a little headache. So this overwhelming feeling. I don't know what that's about. So some of you guys could feel like very much... Like, you know, you can feel like you got like a headache. You can be having migraines right now for some of you guys. You can be up in your head a lot. It can be some type of confusion for some of my Taurus that's going on surrounding you and your connection. Because as soon as I channel your energy, I just got this overwhelmed feeling that came over me. Like, y'all just sucked the energy out of me. <laughs> so I need to get some water. But yeah, that was crazy. So the overall energy we have is the love of wisdom. Spirit is saying love is a choice you make every day. So choose wisely. Spirit is wanting you to choose wisely when it comes to your love life, Taurus. Okay, maybe some of you guys have been making choices that's not best for you when it comes to love. Maybe some of you guys are reevaluating the choices you make in love. You can be looking at the person you chose right now, like to love. A lot of you guys is like, you're learning from past mistakes, well, past lessons in love, past partnerships that didn't work, maybe things that you just had to endure in your previous relationships. So Spirit is really wanting you to make the best decision and use your best judgment moving forward when it comes to how you move when it, with love, you know, when it comes to your heart, when it comes to matters of love. Choose wisely is what Spirit is saying. So some of you guys might need to choose wisely when it pertains to a relationship or a partnership. The first card we have is clouded vision. The second card we have is soulful synergy. Soulful synergy. And then the third card we have is inner fog. So it makes sense why I feel this heavy sensation over my head right now as I'm doing y'all reading. I feel a little lightheaded. Um, with clouded vision, it says it's time for you guys to recognize and discuss red flags or areas of concern. So I do feel like you could be in a partnership or be connected to somebody romantically to where as though... It's a lot of red flags within this partnership. You can be concerned. You know, it's a lot of clouded vision. Like, you can't, you unsure about the future of this connection just because it's a lot of things that you're starting to see within it that could be an issue for you, okay? It could be a red flag for you. You might could be side-eyed in your partner, like, you know, like, their intentions and whatever the case may be. Whatever it is, it's like you guys could be recognizing some red flags and or just concerns in your partnership and it's time to discuss that okay it's time for you guys to get out it's time for you guys to get out your head and really really discuss how you feel when it comes to when it pertains to matters of the heart um with soulful synergy being here okay we have soulful synergy it says vulnerability waves i mean what vulnerability weaves hearts in a dance of harmony unity and flow so maybe some of you guys need to be vulnerable. You and your partner are needing to be more vulnerable with each other um, to express these concerns or red flags or anything that's been transpiring that you are not rocking with right now, Taurus. It's like, be vulnerable, okay? Because if you're vulnerable with your partner, 
it's going to allow harmony when things to flow more naturally or for things to be addressed or, you know, worked on, fixed, whatever the case may be. Um, I do feel like right now it's like Spirit is wanting you to allow things to flow naturally, but in order to do so, both for you, you or your partner, or both of you are needed to be vulnerable towards each other, okay? You guys are need to unite a little bit more towards each other, like when you feel a certain type of way or, you know, when things are on your mind, you know, instead of like going your way and they go and they go their separate way, it's like it's time to address it. Do not speak things under the rug. Do not build animosity with your partner. Because I feel like it's basically creating some type of clouded vision or clouded judgment. All right. So it's just time to discuss any concerns because the last card we have is in fog. So a lot of you guys are feeling like you're in a foggy mist right now pertaining to your relationship. It says it could be based on fear, obligation, or guilt makes you stay, get clarity. So some of you guys could be staying in a partnership based on like you feeling guilty. Like if you leave this partnership, maybe you guys might have children with this person. Maybe you guys might live together or might share assets together. So you feel like if you leave, like, you know, it could be an obligation for you to stay. For some of you guys, or my, some of you guys might also have a fear of leaving. Um, for you know, you might have a fear on what people might say, especially if you guys are like married or have any children or whatever the case may be. But if you don't have any children, it's just like you might just have a fear that you know, if you leave this person, it might create some type of disaster or destruction. Um, well, some of you guys are just staying in the connection based on guilt. You feel guilty for this person, so it makes you stay. But the spirit is wanting you to get clarity of your situation. If you're not happy, spirit is not wanting you to stay in something that, that's not um that's not feasible for you, okay? That's not serving you, something that's hindering you, um, your growth, um, your peace, your balance. Um, because I feel like some of you guys are just staying in a situation based on fear. You know, um, or just obligation, but you're not happy, okay? But you're learning. It's like you're learning through this. You know, you're. It's like you're. You're time for you to make the wise decisions or wise choice pertaining to this partnership or your choice in lovers. So let's go ahead and get into it and clarify. All right, you guys, hit that um subscribe button for me, like the channel, clarify clouded vision. The Taurus for the month of September. Why is clouded vision here for my Taurus for the month of September? Okay, we have the Page of Swords and the Five of Cups. Some of you guys can be done for Scorpio. Some of you guys can be done for Air Sign. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So this could just be... Yeah, you can be done with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like some of you guys, is like you could be... Somebody could be wanting to get more information or you could be needing or... You could have found out it's, it's something something that's bothering you, something that's causing some type of concern between you and your partner towards. I do feel like whatever this is, you could have maybe went spying on your partner or went looking for some type of information or got some type of insight or it could have been some type of communication that was had that was could have been a little childish for some of you guys. But it's like you're feeling mentally restless because you're curious about what's going on or whatever these red flags are or whatever your partner's doing behind your back or whatever they have been saying to you, however they've been acting. Maybe they, a lot of them have been very energetic energetic towards you lately instead of loving you know could have been very like sharp with their words whatever this is it's like you are looking for some type of clarity insight or information on this person you know it's like you have some type of areas of concern that you can be looking into whatever it is is causing some type of loss or regret or disappointment you know your person you could have found out some shit that they did okay that was that put you in some form of despair maybe you're not speaking on that Maybe this could have caused a red flag. When I cut the deck, we have the Knight of Swords and the Death card, Scorpio Energy. And we have Aquarius here, Gemini or Libra. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a heavy air sign. Um, we have heavy air sign energy, so a lot of you guys are definitely deal dealing with an air sign. But I do feel like it's something like some of you guys could have even been contemplating the ending with this person or it needs to be some type of transformation between you two. I mean, because endings do represent new beginnings, so maybe you guys could be wanting a new beginning. And for others of you, you could just be wanting an ending altogether to transition out of this connection or transform your life i do feel like the person you're dealing with brad this is an air sign um they're very opinionated they're very hasty when they communicate with you very abrasive i'm seeing for some of you guys um this person communicate but i feel like it's kind of like their way or no way the way they come in is kind of immature but the knight of sword this person comes in very action oriented doing shit for reaction communicating like very hasty very fast paced you know like this person is just very, sometimes it's hard to talk to this person. I'm seeing that for some of you guys. All right, clarify cloudy vision. Last cloudy vision here for Taurus for the month of September 2024. 
All right, there we have the nine of pentacles, your energy. So it's like some of you guys are just Virgo energy for some of you guys too. But um, I just feel like, yeah, some of you guys could be even thinking about being by yourself. Maybe you're recognizing some things about your partner that you're just not rocking with. Um, Maybe your partner could have been moving like they were single or whatever. Just getting a little bit too comfortable in this relationship, okay? A little too comfortable. But um, others of you, it could be like maybe you could be contemplating if you're better off by yourself. Some of you guys feel like you are more abundant by yourself. You don't have to deal with this. But I feel like it needs to be some type of conversation. But you're afraid. For some of you guys, you might be afraid to have this conversation because this person the way they talk to you is very it's very fast paced it's very arrogant it's very hostile um and you could be wanting to have some concerns surrounding this partnership all right it could be the third party energy here too something surrounding work for some of you guys you could have found out about something surrounding work or a person partner up with somebody at work um or a third party because three pentacles always represents third party to me or some type of teamwork or collaboration or working together with somebody else or somebody putting their money together to, to for a bigger outcome but i do feel like maybe some of you guys would just be thinking about the partnership as well because right behind that we had a three of swords so something somebody did definitely caused some type of um painful heartbreak towards you or you could feel rejected from your person or betrayed some type of some of you guys are also going to be feeling some type of going through some type of painful separation all right but yeah some type of red flag is here clarify the five of cups why is the five of cups here clarify clarifying cloud of vision for Taurus for the month of september why is the five of cups here king of cups some of you guys could be dealing for scorpio cancer or pisces all right some of you guys might have children with this person you guys need to find your emotional balance right now um you might feel like the person you're dealing with they could be over generous um they could have some type of addictions or something that they need to tame themselves from because we have the shrimp card and the queen of cups so this is definitely a partnership but this is not your energy some of you guys could be in water energy right now you might have a uh, scorpio cancer pisces in your chart rather right? that's your moon or your venus um, but I do feel like it's something around this partnership, like a marriage or a connection where so you guys are trying to find your strength or you need to find your strength to emotionally come forward with whatever concerns you had towards this person, this partnership, whatever they did to hurt you or sorry, y'all, y'all hear my beats, but whatever they did to hurt you or betray you, it's like, it's time to have some type of uh, real discussion about it like spirit is wanting you to find your strength and courage to go towards this person some of you guys could be holding on based on obligation like i said due to maybe children if you have children with this person but yeah i do feel like you love this person a lot but it's something that they did to cause some type of regret pain or sorrow it could be like i said they're moving like they're single or something so that you could have found out about why is this page of swords here yeah, some of you guys could have been third party a third party situation you could have found out they did something out while they was out outside at a party at an event maybe with friends or it's a third party energy because we do have the death card that came out again with the four swords so you guys are contemplating the ending um surrounding this connection okay you guys are definitely contemplating i see you guys need to get some rest or you could be not speaking to this person it could be some type of separation or you could be contemplating that let's go ahead and clarify soulful synergy why well, soulful synergy here yeah, the card that popped out. It's a one. It's all right. Clarify social synergy for Taurus for the month of September surrounding love life. Find social synergy here for Taurus love life for September 2024 spirit. Why well, we got the shrimp card came out again, but now it's in reverse. So it's like, and then we have the page of wands. So yeah, some of you guys could be doing for fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, but we do feel like, well, with this right here, it says, um, you know, vulnerability weaves hearts in a dance of harmony unity and flow so it's all about you guys connected together being as in synergy in synergy with each other being at one with each other being vulnerable towards each other okay so you can um, mend any type of um aching heart broken heart any type of turmoil that you're going going through with your partner i feel like it needs to be some type of ebb and flow but with that um strength card coming in reverse it's like someone doesn't have the courage to come towards you somebody can be very selfish um will have a lot of self-doubt very weak weak-minded or just a lot of weakness this could be you towards feeling like weak or don't feel like you have the strength or you could be lacking self-discipline or self-doubt when it comes to this person like you don't want your person could be lacking self-discipline and you can have a lot of self-doubt surrounding this connection okay with the page of wands being here somebody that's like communication that you know some passionate communication that could have came in you could have found out about passionate communication or could have discovered something about your person and um, for some of you guys your person is very much free-spirited they like to explore but i do feel like the page of wands is some type of communication coming in passionate news or some good news why the page of wands here for Taurus surrounding soulful synergy 
Lots of page of wands here. Surround the social synergy for towards love life. Five of Pentacles. So yeah, maybe you could have found out some type of news. Maybe somebody sent a message to somebody. Um, you could have found out like maybe this person left you out in the cold um with that five of pentacles it's like you could feel like a financial loss maybe this person made you do something like free spirited off the whim and it's like eating you up financially or they could have put you in a financial bond for some of you guys um maybe you could have felt like it's a lack of self-discipline on your end because you was listening to this person when they was just it was all about what they wanted instead of doing what you wanted to do towards something with finances um or some type of security that makes you feel like okay man now i got a really penny pinch or you're worried about financial loss so it's a lot of worry or you feel like you know this person is eating up your money or something surrounding poverty something about finances okay also could be isolation all right this person could have left you on the cold for some of you guys they could have did something enthusiastic went towards something different or jumped out there as a free spirited but whatever this is it's like you guys once again cutting the deck we have the five of cups so it's a lot of loss regret disappointments a lot of sadness in this connection and with that ten of swords it's like you felt like this person betrayed you or stabbed you in the back something that they did you felt ultimate but it was like the ultimate betrayal the ultimate defeat it caused it caused you a lot of anxiety and stress all right um this could be an ending as well towards um a marriage for some of you guys with that um king of pentacles here somebody that you were had a family with some type of stability with um yeah this person could have got a lot of attention um you could have found out they was getting attention elsewhere outside of this marriage something that was like a conflict that they created within this connection i feel like also could have they could also put you in some type of financial bond for some of my tours okay take what resonates you guys let the rose as they may don't try to make it fit if it ain't just going. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm seeing for some of you guys. Yeah, I feel like you was too vulnerable. And this, this person could have like played on your vulnerability, all right? Or your, your insecurities with that strength card in reverse. And had you do some things outside of your own character or out of your own norm. And it became a toll. It just took a toll on you, okay? Yeah. But let's go ahead and clarify in the fog. Lots in the fog here for my tours for the month of September. So I know that life. Lots in the fog here. Okay, we got the page of cups in reverse. So it's saying emotional immaturity. So whoever you're dealing with, it's like they're emotionally immature. You know, they can also be experiencing a creative block. This could be somebody that you have children with or somebody that's just, like I said, very immature. Um, that's why you can also have like a fear to come towards this person because it's like you can't express how you truly feel towards this person because you know it's going to be emotional in reaction. That's going to be immature. They might give you an outburst. They might be outlandish with shit. I do feel like you, you guys will need to recover from something because um, what popped out as well was the Ten of Swords in reverse again. Um, but this time in reverse. So it's like some of you guys are doing for Gemini, but it's like you guys can be trying to recover from this connection, um, heal, regenerate. This is a fear of being ruined. You might feel that the person that you're dealing with might ruin you ultimately, fuck up your money, fuck up your stability, um, or this, that this is like an inevitable, inevitable end. So some of you guys will be holding on from res or resisting ending this with this person, but it's going to happen regardless for some of you guys. Just because it's, I feel like for some of you guys, you're in the karmic attachment. Yeah, we have the world card here and the six of um, wands cutting the deck. So some type of a completion that will happen between you two. All right. This can be um, you accomplishing or learning a major uh, lesson from this um, cycle because we do have the overall energy being beloved wisdom. So it's like spirits want you to really, really make a choice wisely when it comes to love. All right. Because it is some concerns here between you and this partner. I do feel like whoever you're dealing with, they could be very popular or they just get a lot of attention. You know, or they could just be getting like victory over you. Um, it's going you also making progress after ending something, but let's clarify. Why is in a fall here for Taurus for the month of September? Okay. Yeah, it could be some type of judgment called upon this connection, this relationship, somebody that you was trying to create some type of abundance with. Once again, page of cups here. I mean, page of wands. You could have found out that your partner that you were married to could have went back to somebody from their past with that six of cups here. Um, you could have found out like this person could have went back to somebody they knew from their past. Um, and you do love this person. You guys could be this could be a soulmate, but a karmic. But I do feel like you could have found out that person was like manifesting somebody else, or went back to somebody else, or was talking to somebody else that they had emotional feelings for. Somebody they might knew from their childhood, or whatever the case may be. You could have found out about it. It could have got illuminated with the sun card. You could have found this person was a little too happy, and, and maybe with that page of swords that we saw earlier, you could have found out the information about that. Because we do have, like, you know, in a fog. So it's like something was, you know, some type of judgment was called upon this. Like, you could have, like, called this person out for this. 
All right, or we need to be calling this person out for this. But let's go ahead and get some more clarifiers. When I was, I'm shuffling, I saw the King of Wands. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. I had to take a call. I told y'all I'm very busy. I do readings on another website outside of this, but yes. Clarify in the fall for Taurus for the month of September surrounding love life. Lots in the fall here for Taurus, September love life. We got the Queen of Wands in reverse. So some of you guys will be doing for Leo, Sagittarius. We have shy, aggressive, demanding. So some of you guys could be doing for partner just that's very aggressive, um, very demanding. Um, some of you guys you might be a little shy on the shy side. Um, I do feel like whoever you're dealing with though, they could be like overly emotional. So it could be hard for you to like have a conversation with them or to get clarity for them. They could be a little malicious, you know, cold hearted. I do feel like some of you guys are dealing with somebody that's like, you know, they always, they live in la la land. Some of them are like a lot of fantasies or a lot of options. Like they could have a lot of options or just be wearing rose colored glasses, a lot of wishful thinking and imagination here with this person. Maybe some of you guys was wishing for this person to... Um, just come in more mature when it comes to communicating things or just expressing needs, um, partner, you know, for each other or your needs towards this partnership. But I just feel like this person is just, you might have a fear of coming towards them because how they react towards you. All right. And we have the food car, Aries, Aries energy, and we have the four swords, um, Libra energy for some of you guys. And we have the devil in reverse. So this is Capricorn energy. So some of you guys are just wanting to detach yourself and break free from this person that you feel like they could be very controlling, possessive over you. They can have their own additions or you can be very like obsessed over this person at one point in time. And maybe you're slowly getting out of this obsession, this foggy, cloudy thinking, this wishful thinking, this fantasy world that you created with this person. A lot of you guys are getting a lot of sleep or you're like kind of taking a break from this person, relaxing, just needing to recharge and recruit from the injury or from whatever this shit that you're going through right now because this person put you through some stuff. I just feel like a lot of you guys need to take a break or relax, okay? It's a lot of contemplation around this connection because this person's creating a lot of uncertainty within this. And I do feel like you guys are just wanting a new beginning with the food bar being here. It's like you're wanting to in search, you're in a search for a new beginning, okay? Um, You're wanting to detach and break free from this person because like I said, bottom of the deck, they got you in some type of fantasy illusion. Maybe at one point in time, this person was like the person you really really wanted but when we got this person you realize this person wasn't all what it's cracked up to be <laughs> but some of you guys is like you could have um been holding on to this person for security reasons for money this person could be very stingy um they could be money hungry you could be holding on to you for money reasons or you were holding on to them for stability or security or whatever or somebody was very possessive over you or vice versa but i do feel like whoever you were dealing with is like you don't want to invest with them no more like you could invest a lot into this connection, even could have helped them out financially a lot or help build them up. But I feel like now it's like you feel like this person like lacks focus or ambition. They're not as ambitious as, as ambitious as you when it comes to this relationship or they're lacking focus surrounding this relationship. Maybe you were looking for some type of perfection with this person, but the truth came out with the Ace of Swords. So I do feel like a lot of you guys are going to be getting victory um, over this situation, you're going to be able to have a mental breakthrough. You're going to gain mental clarity and you're going to be releasing yourself from some type of heartbreak and pain. Somebody could be wanting forgiveness too with three of three of um, swords in reverse. Somebody might try to ask for your forgiveness, but it needs to be some type of conversation or some type of choice made. Cause I feel like whoever you were dealing with, they were very much materialistic or greedy or very dissatisfied. You know, this person, you were trying to be optimistic and you know, forgive this person and want to release this pain, but I feel like they had you in a fog. They had you very much confused, okay? So, yeah, that's what I have for you guys, Taurus. Let me know if it resonates. Leave a comment below. Let's go ahead and pull some crystal cards and see what crystal you should be working with for the month of September surrounding this energy and this connection. Universal Spirit, Angels, and the guys and the gods and goddesses, ancestors. Give me a crystal card for Taurus for the month of September 2024. What crystal should it be working with? All right. We got two cards that popped out. We have Lapis Luzo. All right. So Lapis Luzi. Luzo. 
It says, balance is what the stone can help with. Harmonizing your mental, emotional, and spiritual and physical self. It brings inner peace when used with meditation. This beautiful stone opens up the third eye. It allows you to see inside yourself and you will see the real you. So yeah, that's why everything is surrounding clarity. A lot of you guys need to use your third eye, your, your intuition this month. Um, but get some of this, get some lapis loose so it can help balance out your third eye. Help you um, harmonize your emotions, um, your spiritual, emotional, and physical self okay help help you with meditation as well then the second card that came out was um jade 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 night um it says green jadeite is the most common color this creamy green stone is a symbol for peace and purity held to the forehead during meditation it will bring vivid dreams or vivid visions that often contains messages it can also allow you to dream of walking the astral, astral plane so yeah you guys are seeking some type of message or clarity work with the stone for the month of september and that's what i have for my tourists i hope it resonates leave a comment below and i will see you guys next month peace